Hi, I'm Corey Williams from Daydream Studios and I am a motion capture specialist with a broken arm. Usually this would mean that I would be out of work for the next several weeks because, well, everything hurts. Like I, I can't put on my motion capture suit, let alone just a regular t-shirt half the time. So to overcome this problem, I am now using AI for motion capture. This is Radical. Radical is a real-time motion capture solution using AI, and you can also upload videos into it to give you AI motion capture as well. It's really, really cool. So again, this is real-time. I'm moving around and it is following me. There is a little bit of latency in this version uh, of Radical that I'm currently using. There is a faster mode, which is called I think it's called speed mode or something, <laughs> but this is fidelity mode. Fidelity mode gives you a really, really clean motion capture. Now, the reason that I'm using fidelity right now and not the speed mode is because I'm also sending this data over to Unreal Engine. So here we are now in Unreal Engine very, very clean data that is being recorded using Take Recorder, which later on I can use to add things to it, to change it, to clean it up if I need to. But clearly there's not a whole lot that I need to clean up, which is amazing. All of this is being done with just one camera, just a standard webcam that is sitting on top of my monitor right now. And if you wanna check this out, by the way, you can go to radicalmotion.com. So let me walk around, let me give you some tests just to show you what this can do and maybe things that it can't do um, as an example. So I'm gonna I'm just walk in my space here. Obviously I wanna stay within camera sight. If the camera can't see me, then well, it's not gonna get the most accurate data because it has no idea. It's using AI to guess what I'm doing or where I'm going. And fidelity mode, as far as I recall from everything I've read and heard and been told, it's essentially guessing what you're going to do next, which is why it's so smooth and why it's so clean. Look at my arm. This arm, I can express with this arm. I can do all the things that I need to to be able to express myself. Even with the wooden hand, it's not doing finger tracking yet. But this arm, even though it's covered in a cast, it's still tracking it. It still knows where it's at and it's not moving. It's not doing anything like crazy. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see, what, what else should I do? Let's do some, uh, some, some weird movements. I can't move around too much because obviously, like I said, my, um, my arm. Do some kicks. You know, people like to do kicks and sorts of things. I mean, you get the idea. I'm not gonna do any backflips right now. <laughs> Uh, let's do this one. This one is uh, is one that I think a lot of people might be using this for. Simple seated positions. With some motion capture uh, suits, it is actually really difficult to just sit down. Like, I'm not gonna say who, but when you sit down in the suits, you tend to sink through the floor. No, it's not accents. I love accents, they don't do that. So what could you do in a situation like this where you're just seated doing motion capture and you want to walk around? Well, think about like virtual podcasts or you know VTubers, stuff like that. Being able to physically move around without ever having to put on a motion capture suit would be a really, really nice uh, thing to do. Think about like having a guest come into your studio and you're like, hey, don't worry about uh, you know messing up your clothes or redoing your hair or having to go into the bathroom to change. No, just sit there. We got a camera that's going to record you and it's just going to work right? Think about people who are, say they're too tall for a motion capture suit or a child who can't sit still <laughs> enough to, you know, be in the motion capture suit. Or maybe you're just on a budget where you can't afford a motion capture suit. This quality is great, especially for a podcast like this, where you're just kind of like looking forward. I mean, this to me looks really good. And I can tell you it looks good because I'm actually watching it on my monitor playback right now. And it's, it's super impressive. Anyway, there are so many other things you can do with this, but I just want to share this a little bit with you because I think it's so cool and I'm just so glad this technology exists, especially right now considering my situation. <laughs> so anyways, again, my name is Corey Williams from Daydream Studios. I will see you in the next experiment. Later.